Hola caracoles! Yo soy Cory from Spring Spanish and if you've ever considered dating a Latina, stop right now and first watch this video because you're going to discover the five things you must know before pursuing a relationship with a Latina. Si estás acostumbrado a las chicas de tu país de origen, you should realize that it will be totally different with a Latin woman. Let's see if you'd still like to date one of us after watching this video. Or maybe you'll become even more interested? Comencemos! Número uno, necesita ser un caballero. We like our man to open the door for us, to offer us their chairs, carry our purses, etc. Contrario a la creencia popular, we don't consider this as a weakness. We actually give these things such a value that I could absolutely dismiss a guy who doesn't open the door for me. Déjame ayudarte con esto. Gracias, qué amable. Of course, times have changed y las mujeres no somos damiselas en peligro. But honestly, a man taking care of his woman and giving her compliments is sexy. Oh, and by the way, not sure how to give your woman compliments in Spanish? Why don't you download our free Spanish dating chunks Cheat, cheat. <laughs> it gives you all the chunks you need to date, flirt, and talk about relationships in Spanish. The link is in the description. Número 2. Pondremos mucha atención en cómo tratas a tu mamá. One of the tips una madre mexicana usually gives to her daughter is Do you want to see how a man will treat you in a few years? Fíjate cómo trata a su propia madre. Sí, mamá. Gracias por el consejo. Whether it is accurate or not, it is an advice that I have followed. I once had a boyfriend who talked horribly to his mom. He wasn't particularly rude with other people or myself, but I'm not ashamed to say that more than once we had a discussion about how he was treating his mama. Needles to say, that boy is now my ex. Así que antes de salir con una mexicana, give your mom a call. Número 3. No somos tu novia hasta que lo preguntas oficialmente. To be in a formal, official relationship, reconocida mundialmente y posteada en Facebook, the magic question must be pronounced with these words and in this order. ¿Quieres ser mi novia? ¡Claro que sí! If you haven't done this, believe me, she's not your girlfriend. I've met some people who fell in love with the Mexican girl and until the request was made, ya sea a través de un poema o una flor o una declaración, it just wasn't official. If the girl in question was at the movies with somebody else, well, they didn't pop the question, right? Número 4. Lo de los celos es verdad. I know we have quite a reputation of being extremely jealous. Lo sé. Of course, this is in no way a general thing. And very respectfully, I can confirm some of us can be difíciles de manejar. Esa vieja le dio las pompas a mi novio. Oh my poodle. In the temper of a Latin American girl, this is quite normal and will take some getting used to. Demonios. Even I don't like other women touching or looking at my things. Número 5. El matrimonio es una cosa seria. If you are going to propose, you need to know que te estás casando con la familia entera. They all want to help with preparations too. So sit down, relájate, enjoy the show, 
but beware that this is a commitment to nuevo suegro won't let you forget oh and before the ceremony the engaged couple appoint a number of padrinos y madrinas who take care of las flores, los anillos, las velas, el alcohol, las fotos. This helps to distribute the financial burden of marriage among a number of people. So yes, there is some good news too. In Mexico, traditionally, the bride's family pays for the wedding. Número 6. Olvídate de usar la misma camisa de ayer porque está limpia. Una mujer latina jamás saldrá contigo si estás desaliñado. And as a matter of fact, she would even forbid you from leaving the house if your shirt is not properly ironed or with any sign that can be interpreted as negligence, powers or partners. We pray ourselves for taking good care of our men well-fed, with clean clothes, etc. El bono. Aprenderás verdadero español. Believe me, when you get tired of listening to things like No, no estoy enojada, ya sabes, yo de ser de gomita, siempre soy yo la que empieza, pero jamás es su culpa. Y a mí, que me cargue el chamuco, you find yourself very eager to learn as fast as possible. Now, if after hearing all this, you still want to date a Latina, it's important to know exactly the right things to say in Spanish to conquer her. And you are in luck. I have a lesson for you with all these Spanish chunks you need to use to win over the hearts of Latinas. Check it out right now by the clicking the image on screen and I will see you there. Bye-bye.